Uh, uh, I just wish I could breathe. Like, just a, just a little. I can't even taste food anymore. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Pardon my horrible voice right now. I've got a bit of a, a cold slash sinus infection. I don't know. Moving on, enough of my sob story. Today's video is on um, a much requested topic. I'm going to show you guys how to put false lashes on like a pro. So I hope you can get some good information from this. I will give you a bit of a disclaimer. Just like with anything that you do, if you don't practice putting on false lashes, whether or not you use these 10 tips, you're never gonna get any better at it. If you just like try and put on false lashes for the first time before you go out for an event, I'm telling you, you're not going to be successful. It's just, it's not an easy task to do. It, it takes a, a long time to get used to. So get some good information here. Use the tips and tricks I give you. And then go practice it a couple times. And see if you can figure out some things that work best for you. So if you are tired of struggling when putting on your false lashes, then keep on watching. First, put on a little bit of liner in your upper lash line. Ignore the fact that I have mascara on. I was not thinking before I did this. Put mascara on before you put on false lashes. This is going to help your lashes blend into the false ones a little bit better. And putting mascara directly on false lashes makes it so they don't last as long. If you want to get more than one use out of them, I suggest not putting mascara directly on them. Next is tight lining. If you can do this trick, then do it. I know some people have trouble with it with their eyes, but this is going to help define your eyes. It's putting that liner on your upper lash line where the water line is, and this is also going to help blend those lashes in with the false lashes. Next, you want to cut the lashes to fit you. I've never had a pair of lashes that fit me right out of the package. So without any glue, place the lashes right on your lash line, just in front of that small inner lash. And whatever hangs off the outer edge is what we want to cut. So take the lashes off by pinching right where it meets that outer edge of your lash line, pull off, and then take your cuticle scissors or whatever scissors you have and trim off that little excess piece. Make sure you're trimming the outer edge. It's really important because if you trim that inner edge, you're going to have too many long lashes towards the inner corner of your eye. Get good lash glue. This one's my favorite. It's Duo Dark Tone. It's from the drugstore. It's super affordable. Plus, it works very, very well. It's going to keep your lashes on, but it's not hard to get the lashes off without pulling your own lashes out. Let the glue dry a bit. This is super important. If you put the lashes on with the glue still very wet, they're not going to stick to anything and you're going to get glue all over your eyelid. So put the lash glue on the band, a nice thin strip of it all the way across. I like the dark tone because it actually does change color a bit when it dries. So we're waiting for it to go from this light gray color to a darker gray, almost a black color. You can touch it with your finger to see if it gets tacky, or you can just wait for that color. If you don't have dark glue, a clear glue will be ready in about a minute or so. Look down into your mirror. This part makes a huge difference. When you're putting your lashes on, you want to try and be able to keep your eye open and closed at the same time, which sounds impossible, but this is kind of the loophole. So if you're looking down into the mirror, your eyelid is closed, but you can still see what you're doing. Place your lashes right in the middle of your eye first. That's what I did in the last clip. Now here I'm taking the inner corner, pulling it as far over as I can, and sticking it down on that inner portion of the lash line. Not on the actual lashes, but just above it. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the outer corner. Taking the outer corner, pulling it as far over as I can, and then sticking it as close to that lash line as I can. Using my lash tweezers, I'm just going to squeeze my real lashes and the false lashes together to just make them blend a little bit better. Finally, I'm going to take those same lash tweezers and I'm just going to wiggle them through my real lashes to help them blend in again with those false ones. Absolutely do not do this with a regular pair of tweezers. Only use lash tweezers for these parts. Clean the glue off your lash tweezers. Before going on to the second lash, 
check your tweezers to make sure that there isn't any glue left over. If there is, it's probably dry and very sticky. And if you're putting on your other lash, your lashes are going to stick to this instead of your eye. So it'll pull it off instead of putting the lash on. Lastly, if you happen to get glue on your eyelid, which we all do from time to time, don't freak out. It'll be fine. It's actually a really, really easy fix. You just have to be patient. Wait for that glue to completely dry. Once it is, use your lash tweezers, not regular tweezers, and gently pull off the glue. The glue will come off pretty easily and it shouldn't mess up the makeup you have underneath. I hope you guys got some really good tips from this video. These are some things that I learned from YouTubers and makeup artists and some things that I actually um, kind of came up with on my own with some trial and error with putting on lashes. So um, I hope this was helpful and um, if it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.